they were having a blood drive at the school I go to, and I wanted to donate some blood, but they wouldn't let me for stupid reasons. Uh, my iron content, my weight, the fact that it isn't mine. <laughs> um, I actually, uh, I actually just turned 21 a while ago, and uh, I went to Las Vegas, which is kind of an awesome city to turn 21 in. But uh, I still realize that I have the body and the look of a 12-year-old girl. Like, I understand that. <laughs> but, like, I I'll just be hanging around in a casino, and, you know, a guy would tap me on the shoulder. Uh, sir, are you old enough to o operate this machine? The elevator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I know how this one works. Yeah, yeah uh, slow, uh, shortly after that date, I real uh, date. Uh, shortly after that vacation, I realized that uh, I have the body type that only attracts lonely German businessmen. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate that we live in a society like that, where, where you judge a book by its cover. You know? Like, because I really do know a lot about history, you know? I mean, it must have been really hard to text on rotary dial phones. That <laughs> Did that take a while? <laughs> 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 okay. so I, I, I was really worried about that one. Uh, um, I, have a, I have a friend who's like really into uh, like having aquariums. He has like a bunch of them, uh, like fish tanks in his basement. And like he'll make one and he'll get bored with it and he'll have to start a new one. Like at first he had like an Amazon river tank and like the water was all murky and there was like light coming down and it was really cool. And then he made another one that was, um, was salt water and it had all the Finding Nemo fish, like the ones Ellen DeGeneres played, stuff like that. And then he decided to do something a little more local where he made like um, a Michigan tank. And that sounds really cool, but um, it was just the water was cold and all the fish were unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually put a little toy castle in it and there was a bridge, but it was under construction for nine months. <laughs> and, uh, I kind of have a lot of uh, nerdy friends and I actually like that because like sometimes they will ask you questions that are so stupid, they're almost like philosophical. Like I had a friend ask me one time, Hey, dude, if you choke a Smurf, what color does it turn? Because it's already blue, so like, normal person color what? Okay, it's stupid, all right, yeah. I have no idea, absolutely no idea. We'll have to go see the movie. Uh, <laughs> um... I was watching CNN a while ago, and they were doing a report on drug use in American high schools, and they say there's actually a lot of really good news. Um, the amount of illegal drugs being bought by 13 to 18 year olds is dropping dramatically, but the overall amount of drugs they're doing is staying roughly the same, so they didn't really get what was going on, and um, they did some research, you know where these kids are getting their drugs nowadays? Their parents' medicine cabinets. They're stealing their parents' prescription drugs. And I don't really think that's fair because my parents aren't depressed or anything. They're just old. What am I supposed to do? Hey guys, my blood's so thin right now. <laughs> Doesn't have quite the same effect. I, uh, I adopted a dog from the pound a while ago. And I didn't know this. When you adopt a dog from the pound, it already has a name. You don't get to name it. And uh, the people who owned the dog before me named the dog Grandma. <laughs> for whatever reason, and uh, I had to change the dog's name to Abby because I got sick of getting up in the morning and yelling, Grandma, get off the mailman! <laughs> <laughs> I googled the word Google, it said, get a life. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but there's this really cool website now called WebMD.com, and if you've ever been to it, it's an amazing site because you type in your symptoms to WebMD.com, and it tells you what you might have and how to cure it. So I typed in my symptoms to WebMD.com. It said it was a hypochondriac. 
<laughs> you guys have been great today. Thank you. Both our